Good morning. Finally getting back to this roll-up door. And I think, as far as I can tell, it looks like the problem is right here. This uh, slider here. I think there's so much dust and dirt in here from horses kicking it up, riding in here, that that's not wanting to slide. There's supposed to be a uh, kind of an arm coming down right here like that one has. I took it off and with that off the door seems to want to go up and down. <laughs> but now getting it in the right position to get the pin back in has been kind of a pain. While I'm at it I'll try greasing up or at least spraying these uh, big rollers here and all the little wheels on the doors on the sides with uh, I think it's a silicone type of spray. It's not really oil. It'll collect dust. Last time the guy came out, he tightened that nut on that big flywheel. I don't know if that's what it needs also or not. I kind of think that uh, this bearing right here with that chain on it, I think it might not be moving. Get this pin back in here. I'll have to climb up there and look at that, but I don't think it's anything major. I think it's just kind of dirt. This, I mean, this whole place is just a big sand arena. And when there gets to be horses in here, the dust is really thick on everything. I think it's just binding up because it's got dirt on it. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to have to call somebody that knows a whole lot more about it than I do, which is just about everybody, really. These doors are not my thing. I don't know what, what I'm doing at all. I don't think this is a big deal. I think I can fix this one. I hope. <laughs> From what I can tell, it looks like this thing here is just not sliding the way it's supposed to. With dirt in there. But this arm... Got kind of a quick release thing where you can pull that down and that hook is supposed to go in that pin. I don't have it in the right spot. I gotta climb back down the ladder and see if I can't raise it up just a hair. Last time I was too far. <laughs> I wish somebody was here to run the button for me. It'd be easy, but it's gonna be up and down the ladder quite a few times it looks like. Dang it. That's too far. <laughs> I come down about an inch or so. But... Dang it. <laughs> there we go. It's in. Finally. I ended up uh, taking this ladder down at an angle and then moving it over and wedging it up under the, the door and pushing it until it lifted up about an inch, half an inch. Anyway, the pin's in, so I think it might be that bearing on the end of this track is out. Anyway, climb down here and see if this thing will go up and down. No, it still won't go. See this thing here. going. This one over here. Let's see, where's it at? Right there. Same thing. It moves, so it's got to be it's binding here. Without that hooked up, I could get it to go up a little bit. I didn't roll it all the way up because I'm afraid it might throw it out of whack or something. I bet you anything it's that bearing over here on this end. Fun stuff. Well I got lucky. Some folks showed up down here to ride horses. So I got them push that button while it was up there. And uh, the reason that one side is binding is because that whole rod 
is not turning. The drive gear has a quarter inch keyway in it that is missing. So that's hopefully an easy fix, but I gotta go town and get a new keyway and a Allen wrench so I can put that back in and hopefully it'll run up and down again. Well, anyhow, that's a lot easier than what it could be, I think, hopefully. <laughs> Keyway fell out, so what happened here? Should be back in order now. So, I'll climb on down and find out. Okay, so it should work this time. I hope. <laughs> there we go. Good. So, it turned out to be a pretty easy fix, really. The uh, I keep calling it a keyway. The keyway is the slot in the in the bar. The, what goes in that slot of the key. Anyway, the key fell out of the keyway, and uh, so did the set screw. And <laughs> I'm amazed, but they were both laying on that beam up there. I went to town, bought a new key, and didn't think about the set screw. And uh, went to put it in, I thought, well, shoot, there's the old one right there. So I was able to put the old one back in, and the set screw was there. And it was kind of, I mean, you're kind of it's back underneath the spring right here. It was kind of awkward and hard to get to, but really not a hard fix. I'm glad it turned out to be something simple and not major. we got too much going on here soon to worry about breakdowns. But uh, anyway, I'm still going through all those uh, trail camera pictures and <laughs> watching that coyote get beat up. <laughs> that poor guy. Holy smokes. Years ago... There's some other coyotes on there too that'll be on tomorrow's video. They don't, they do a little better, but there's two of them. But anyway, uh, years ago we were driving down the road. I don't remember where we were going to now, but there was a dead deer on the side of the road. And when we went by, there had been a big golden eagle eaten on that deer, and he'd been hit by a car and was dragging a wing behind him. And, uh, so I ended up, I had a Carhartt coat, and I took my coat off and chased him down through a, through the coat over the eagle, and we brought him back home. And uh, it was on a Sunday, Sunday afternoon, I believe. Uh, so Monday morning, we, he, we had him in an airline dog box. And, uh, you know, eagles are big. He fit in there, but not really very well, and he'd kind of crapped in there and got it on his wings and made a mess of himself. So uh, Monday morning, we were planning to take him into fishing game. Got a sneeze here. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, uh, going to take him into fishing game, and we thought, well, we better clean him up a little bit and give him the best chance we got. And uh, <laughs> I put on my Carhartt coat and some real heavy gloves and the plan was to try to reach in there with a, a heavily gloved leather hand and a sponge and kind of clean him up a little bit. We weren't going to take him out of the box. Well, when I opened the door, he come barreling out of there, and he, I had him on my arm. And, I mean, he's big. It, it was kind of scary. I thought for sure he was going to try to eat my face off. But he never tried. He just sat, sat there on my arm but even through that heavy coat, his claws were gripping hard enough, made my fingers on my hand go to sleep. I mean, it's amazing how strong those things are. If I got a picture here someplace. If I can find it, I'll have to show that. But uh, 
Anyway, that poor coyote, that thing glommed onto his head. <laughs> it had him by the head. That had to hurt. I hope that coyote doesn't just swell up and die. He might get infected from that. But, uh, neat to see. I've never seen anything like that before. But, anyway, this ain't much of a video here today, but it... It's kind of the time of year it is. I've got to start thinking about getting fairground stuff going. And unfortunately, that's not as much fun as playing in the woods. So, thanks for watching, folks, and see you next time. Bye.